Mark chapter 1 verse 15 states, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This verse carries the weight of eternity in its brief yet powerful declaration. Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, begins his public ministry with a message that cuts through the noise of human philosophy, religion, and tradition. It is a message that demands a response, one that cannot be ignored or treated lightly. The time is fulfilled, speaks of God's perfect timing in redemptive history. The prophecies concerning the coming Messiah, spoken of in the Old Testament, find their culmination in the arrival of Jesus Christ. The fullness of time had come, as Paul writes in Galatians chapter 4 verse 4, when God sent forth his Son. This declaration reminds us that God's plans and purposes are sovereign and unthwartable. It was not by chance or coincidence that Jesus began his ministry at this moment in history. It was the ordained time determined by the counsel of God's will as Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 declares. The kingdom of God is at hand, points to the nearness of God's rule and reign in the person of Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God is not merely a concept or a future hope, it is a present reality in the person of the King. When Jesus Christ walked the earth, he brought with him the authority and power of God's kingdom. He demonstrated this through his miracles, teachings, and ultimately through his death and resurrection. The kingdom of God is not of this world, as Jesus said in John chapter 18, verse 36, but it is breaking into this world through the work of Christ. This kingdom is both now and not yet, fully realized in the future, but already present in the hearts and lives of those who belong to Christ. Repent and believe in the gospel. These words are a divine imperative, a command that must be obeyed. Repentance is not a mere change of mind, but a turning away from sin and a turning toward God. It is a recognition of one's guilt before a holy and just God, a confession that we have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, as Romans chapter 3 verse 23 declares. Repentance involves a complete transformation of heart and mind, a renunciation of self-righteousness and an acknowledgement of our utter dependence on God's grace. Believing in the gospel is more than intellectual assent. It is trusting in the finished work of Christ for our salvation. The gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, as 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 through 4 proclaims. To believe in the gospel is to rest in the sufficiency of Christ's sacrifice, knowing that his blood alone can cleanse us from all unrighteousness, as 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 teaches. This verse in Mark chapter 1 verse 15 encapsulates the essence of Jesus' message. The kingdom is here and you must respond. The call to repent and believe is urgent because the time is fulfilled. The opportunity for salvation is now, but it will not last forever. Jesus warns us in Luke chapter 13 verses 3 and 5, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. This is not a suggestion or a recommendation. It is an ultimatum from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The seriousness of this call cannot be overstated. To reject this message is to reject Christ himself, and the consequences are eternal. Revelation chapter 20 verse 15 makes it clear that those who are not found written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. This is the ultimate fate of those who refuse to repent and believe the gospel. It is a terrifying reality, but it is the truth that Jesus proclaimed. But for those who do repent and believe, the promise is eternal life in the kingdom of God. Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 28, And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. 
This is the assurance we have in Christ, an unshakable eternal security that no power of hell can overcome. As we consider Mark chapter 1 verse 15, let it serve as a sobering reminder that the time is indeed fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand, and we are called to respond with repentance and faith. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes, as Romans chapter 1 verse 16 declares. There is no other way, no other truth, and no other life apart from Christ. He is the narrow gate, the only door through which we must enter if we are to be saved. The question remains, will you heed the call? Will you repent and believe in the gospel? Eternity hangs in the balance.